Good afternoon. This is just a surprise live that you guys are getting today. Didn't even notify you I'd be going live today, but here we are. So I wanted to chat quickly. I'm just gonna pull it up on my Facebook so I can see your comments. Um, so I wanted to chat today about something that I actually kind of went into on our training on Saturday. We did a training on making your statement of desire. I know Team Racy, sometimes I just, I like to surprise. I like to surprise you all with my pop-in lives. <laughs> um, so I want to talk about something that I, I taught on Saturday at uh, our statement of desire training on our monthly workshop. And I wanted to just touch base on one little aspect that I taught and I wanted to give like a, a, a solid five, six minutes on it here because I found it actually to be something that a lot of people ended up asking questions about and really wanted more clarification on. And so I thought it deserved a little bit of attention. So here we are. All right. So I want to talk about passion, purpose, and platform and what the heck is the difference between those things? Because here's something that I see happen a lot. I see a lot of people are trying to figure out how doTERRA is their purpose. And it gets them sort of caught up where they're thinking, I don't know, I don't know, how. where's my purpose in this? How is my purpose in this? Or where does it align? And I want to be very clear about something that is going to help you tremendously. This may sound a little bit like, but... Here's the deal, doTERRA is not your purpose. I know, I said it, but it's true. Now before any upline diamonds start coming at me and screaming at me and saying, what are you teaching my people? Let me, just hear me out, hear me out. All right, so the truth is, doTERRA is the seven owners purpose. That is true. It's their purpose. Their purpose was to create. They had they they probably their entire lives had things that they've done their whole lives that had led them to the point of creating doTERRA. And doTERRA is their ultimate purpose. They're using this to be able to walk out their biggest greatest purpose in life. Now we are able to use doTERRA as our platform. And so this is where the difference comes in. Hi, Nina. This is where the difference comes in. Your purpose is not a job, a title, a career, a vocation. It's also not a goal. You cannot put a goal on your purpose. Your purpose is a lifelong journey. It's endless. It's something you will do from the day you are born to the day that you die. You will walk out your purpose in all that you do. So one of the ways that I explained this on our workshop on Saturday was I explained how since I was a little girl, like since I could play, I was always a teacher. Always. For Christmas, when I think I was five years old, my dad bought me this huge uh, um, chalkboard and he he drilled it into the wall in my playroom and my uncle made me this long pointer stick that our teachers used to use when I was in elementary school and I wanted a pointer stick so bad and he went in his workshop and made me this pointer stick and I saved up my allowance to buy a chalk holder and I had all the colored chalk and I, I used to spend all my allowance on my play my playroom school and I would come home from school and I would line up my toys and I would teach them the things that I learned in school that day and I probably did this till I was maybe 10 I would just I, I just had this huge passion for teaching and the dolls that my mom would buy me she'd buy me dolls that were um school I can't even remember what the type of dolls were back in the day but I remember this little doll's name was Cody and he had a desk that he came with and report cards and all the things and I loved to teach and that's what I wanted to do and I actually wanted to go to teachers college and when I graduated university um, I actually was applying to teachers college in Australia when I got my job and I ended up doing so well in my job that I never left and I never went to teachers college and never became a teacher but all that to say this the the passion 
for teaching, I knew that whatever I did in this lifetime, I would have to teach, not necessarily at a school board or to students in a classroom, but it was my purpose was to be able to take information and infuse that information with energy and passion and to teach people how to do whatever it is that I was teaching them how to do. It didn't matter what the topic was. I just needed to be able to teach people. And then I also realized that sales was something I was really passionate about. So no matter what I did, no matter what job I had, I would always end up selling somehow. And people would be like, you don't even get commission. You don't even get paid to do this. It didn't matter. Like I could sell anything to anyone. It was just one of those things that I just I just did. And even when I got landed that job in the fitness industry at a university while I was waiting for my teacher college uh, applications to come through, um, I within my first couple months, I ended up becoming number one in sales in the entire country for our company. And I just never left because I was I found myself a platform that allowed me to walk out my purpose and my passion for sales. So I know that inside of me, I was born with the ability to teach. I was born with the ability to um, have a passion for what, what, or have a, a passion for teaching and have a ability to take information, to make it fun, to make it enjoyable to learn and be able to find myself a platform that let me do that. So doTERRA, is my platform. It's the vehicle. It was what allowed me to actually find a, like it was what allowed me to teach. And then I was selling the oils, which I was super passionate about. And that is what allowed me to go from zero to, to where I went because I took my purpose and used doTERRA as the platform. Do you see what I mean? Because here's the thing, if anything if anything ever happened and say we just didn't have doTERRA, would your purpose go away? No, that's the difference, is that your purpose is with you for the rest of your life. And we're using doTERRA as the platform. So I know that I can teach anyone how to go diamond because I've done it, right? And then I made the decision last year, and, I, and I, I've talked about this on a few of my lives, that I needed to make a bigger impact. So my energy shift focus and to what we have here with the Doe Planner Collective, because I wanted to help more people building a doTERRA business, make money and make income and grow their businesses, right? And so we've talked about that before, is that my vehicle with doTERRA, I've now made a residual income business. And so my rank sometimes goes up and down because my energy and isn't as much focused on my personal business anymore. It's focused on your businesses. It's focused on helping you guys learn how to build a business because I've done it. So I know I can teach it. And now I have this bigger vision and bigger impact to teach more people. So my purpose was calling me to do more. It was asking of me to do more. So now I've leveraged my doTERRA business and the platform that I had with it, because in doTERRA, that's how we build our businesses is through teaching, right? It's through teaching. So that was a perfect platform for me because my purpose is to teach. And once I accomplished learning how to build doTERRA and how to do that and how, how to, to go from zero to a team of 4,000, I now felt, okay, now, now my calling is to do that in a bigger way is to help more people. Right. And so now I've shifted over to this space where I can help y'all build your businesses. Cause that to me is me getting to walk out my purpose of making a bigger impact. So what I want you to do is sit with it and think to yourself, what is my actual purpose? Because you will be able to do way bigger things in doTERRA with your business. You will be able to grow doTERRA faster and more solid when you know what your purpose is. What have you been doing your entire life? What comes natural to you? What is fun for you? What is, do you just seem to do all the time and people just know you're a natural born what? And then when you use doTERRA as the vehicle for that, the vehicle, because even in the fitness industry, I'll tell you right now, I actually was not passionate about fitness. Not going to lie. Did it for 10 years. Top salesperson. So the most amount of personal training in the entire company, starter packages, not the 
personal trainer, personal trainers, but I sold with memberships. I sold the most amount of starter packages than anyone else in the company in my first year. And I hated working out. So I didn't actually have a passion for fitness, but I was able to use my purpose of teaching other people that would come into the club. And my passion was for them to be able to find their journey to health. I was so passionate about teaching them how to do that. And so I hired a personal trainer so that I at least was working out three times a week and not just feeling like a fraud, <laughs> right? So I worked out, I did it with a personal trainer, but I wasn't passionate about it. And I related 100% to the people that walked in that said, I've never worked out a day in my life but my doctor said I need to come here. So what happens if you're just like, I don't know, I've never been passionate about essential oils before. I feel you. I never used oils a day in my life before I started with doTERRA. But I was very passionate about mental health because that was my journey. And I had spent 10 years struggling with a severe anxiety and panic disorder. And I was using the oils as emotional aromatherapy. So my passion for teaching people and then my passion for helping people with their mental well-being, because that was my story and my journey. That's how I use the platform of doTERRA to go from zero to 4,000 people. And of course, I didn't sign up 4,000 people, but I infuse my passion into training people to build their businesses, right? And everyone on my team has different focuses. They're taking their passion and their purpose and they're using doTERRA. doTERRA oh my goodness, I was about to tell a story about my upline, Erica. Um, where they're using doTERRA as the platform to be able to actually merge their purpose and passion together. So again, I've been able to merge teaching, my passion for sales with the platform of doTERRA to be able to create this business. And I want you guys to really think about that. And where can you take your purpose? What is your passion? How can you put those two things together and use doTERRA as the platform and vehicle. So again, remember that doTERRA is the owner's purpose, right? It's like they're walking out their purpose by having created doTERRA and we are their how. So their why, doTERRA's owners, Emily Wright, Dr. David Hill, Dr. Sterling, or David Sterling, uh, the, all seven of them, Corey Lindley, right? Their, their, their why is to have to create the largest essential oil company with the purest, most potent essential oils on the planet, the humanitarian efforts that they do. That's their why. And their how is us, is the wellness advocates. That's how they're going to do that, is through us. Our why is going to be based off of our purpose and our passion and doTERRA becomes our how that's how we're going to do it because we're going to use doTERRA as the vehicle and I just hope that makes some clarity for you because I feel like a lot of people get lost when they think that doTERRA is supposed to be their purpose and then it's not aligning and like, why is this not aligning this doesn't feel to feel right and it's because your purpose is a lifelong journey it's something that you'll do forever and ever and ever and ever. I'll never stop teaching. I'll never stop training. I'll owe oh, in everything that I do for the rest of my life. I will do it in the way of which I am a teacher. And I know that because it's something I've been doing since I was old enough to speak, right? So that's where I want you to take that moment and that, that time to, to really dig in and think, what is the purpose that I'm here for? What passions do I have that come so naturally to me that I just like I love to do it, right? And how can I take or uh, or something you've been through because oftentimes we become very passionate about something we've been through that was an obstacle we've overcome, that was something hard that we we've, we've had to go through, you know, oftentimes like, you know, God will put his strongest sh soldiers to battle, right? Because that we can survive it. And so after having gone through a decade long journey with a severe anxiety and panic disorder, I knew that I was meant to teach other people how to overcome that holistically, right? And so, and then I could use doTERRA as my platform for teaching that exact topic of mental wellness and mental well being. And then my clients came from the people who would come to listen to me teach 
on how to approach their mind fitness from a holistic perspective. Those became my clients. A lot of them became my sharers and builders because I was very clear about what my passion was and my purpose and then how doTERRA became the vehicle and the platform for me to walk that out, right? Just as much as doTERRA will be a vehicle for holistic nutritionists who protocol uh, um, botanical medicine and supplements and, you know, let food be thy medicine. Well, hello, why wouldn't they have essential oils as part of their practice? It is, it's another vehicle for them to use in the passion that they already have. It is a no brainer. And then it's also going to be a vehicle for them for financial wellness. So this is where you need to really dig in and put on some noise canceling headphones, put on your theta beats, on your brain waves, get into some meditation on finding your purpose, just YouTube it, and then get into some of those deep thoughts, jot down what comes to mind, and then figure out what is my actual life journey purpose. That'll be with me from the day I was born to the day that I die. What am I super duper passionate about talking about right now? And how can doTERRA become the platform and vehicle for me to walk that out? And that will change the game for you. Promise. All right, y'all have an amazing day. Hopefully this was helpful and I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye.